It's almost 11 o'clock and this is the progress. This is Jamie. We got his clothes set out. Also, the apartment is super duper messy right now because we literally moved in the week that we're supposed to leave for Vietnam. And then, this is my stuff. I'm pretty much almost done. Got my clothes ready. Um, this is the situation. I had to unpack some of my bags of laundry from when I was moving. And then here's the state of my closet. Like literally all those were my pajamas and they're now in my suitcase. I am super tired while I was showering. I thought I was gonna fall asleep in the shower and it's only 11 o'clock, it's not even that late, but we're trying to stay up all the way until 3 a.m. So pretty much this video is just gonna be a vlog of Jamie and I trying to survive until 3 a.m. Cause 3 a.m. is when we're supposed to be waking up, getting ready to leave. So we need to meet up with his parents at four and then we're gonna drive to the airport and then our flight leaves at 7 a.m. Well, his suitcase is looking not as crowded as mine. I think he has less clothes than I do. But why does this, he looks like, this looks more organized. Stuff it in there, Jane, put it somewhere. Okay. <laughs> and then look at my suitcase. Look at all that. Look how many shirts I packed. Ugh, I don't even want to look at that anymore. You know what you're taking? No. Oh man, I look like a mess. So the main reason why we are still up this late is because obviously we haven't packed, which we're doing right now, but also because Vietnam is about a 12 hour time difference. And right now everyone's awake in Vietnam. So change back time. I'm gonna try and stay awake and I'm making Jamie stay up with me because he wanted to go to sleep and I think I'm gonna get sick. And then, oh, these are the umbrellas you just put in there, by the way. Um, where was I at? We're trying to stay up so that we can meet the time zone in Vietnam. Yeah, and then we'll just sleep on the plane and when we get there, it'll be bedtime again. Yeah, we're supposed to land at like 9 p.m. Christmas Eve. Hmm, Jamie, any other clothes you wanna put? Oh, your socks. You need socks. These are the socks I gotta go through. You're gonna wear these? If I have to. Okay, do you have any of the socks? Huh? You have any other socks? Oh, okay, get them. Can I move this close? No. Because then you'll lay down. Oh, no. Jamie, I'm the bed. Stop it. How am I supposed to know what I've been through? What's on the floor? this late with packing, I normally pack like at least a couple weeks or at least a week minimum before we leave. But this time, like since I'm working now and we spent all this week like seeing our family, hanging out with them before we leave for the trip, I just didn't find time to pack. And also it's the holidays. So we had like family reunions last weekend and that took up a lot of my time. So I just didn't get to pack the way I wanted to. That is why we're literally scrambling right now. We could have been asleep. We could have been asleep, right Jamie? So this year at work, we did Secret Santa. And for my Secret Santa gifts that I put on my list, whoever did my name, I wanted anything travel related because, you know, since I'm going to Vietnam soon, literally tomorrow in four hours, I asked for travel things. So I asked for a travel phone holder mount, and this is what it is. And it's actually so cool. It's a lot better than I was expecting. I sold it awesome for getting me this. I also told her exactly what to get me. Like I even told her the brand and like where to get it. So this is it. And you can like unfold it. It's not like it's breaking, but it's not, okay? And then if you press down this lever right here, it like presses it out, so that way you can stick to any surface. So I don't know if how low you can see, but like, I can like, oh, can you see the chair? Well, I'll just do it here. So like if I pull it up or pull it down, push it down, I like just stick it here. Let me check the camera so you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. But yeah, that's really cool. And then my phone will go in here and it would hold my phone. So that's so cool. And then take it out, I just press it down. Oh, can I close it? Just bam. Super compact travel size. Definitely taking that. And the next thing is she got me a personal handheld turbo fan. I don't remember putting this on my list, but I'm sure I did because this brand sounds like what I wanted. And, oh, oh, it's got a little 
little string attached to it. Honestly, I might use that for my phone and not for the fan. Ooh. Let's test this. Jamie, come here. Jamie. Jamie, why are you in bed? Oh, it's got settings, so I can get strong. It's got five levels of settings. So, okay, once it's light, two, stronger, three, stronger, four, stronger, five, strongest. This is awesome. Look. Are you into camera? Ready? And it's USB-C. Don't fool your phone was USB-C. You could bring half the wires then. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this back in this packaging. Honestly, I kind of should not put them back in their boxes, but it would protect it. So that whenever I do need it, they're safe in their box. I love my gifts. These are awesome. So this is my travel backpack. I'm pretty sure this is the backpack I took to Europe, so I definitely plan on taking it again for this trip as well. And this is our hand warmer. I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge it. Oh, this is USB-C too. And this is gonna be my electronics bag. I have my little selfie light that dies really fast. Another USB charger for that. And I also have some mics in there because on the plane it gets really loud. And then the hand warmer's charging. Here's my suitcase. Can you see it? Oh, nope. Share it another way. There you go. Oh, no, it's too high. Hold on. So this is my suitcase. All of my clothes are on this side. And I still have all the space over here, Davey. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to pack an extra set of clothes. So that way, you still don't have a stress your case. You still have extra clothes. Huh? You're talking about family. Oh. Talk to the YouTube. Probably a better way to do this than just doing that. Look what he's trying to do here. extra cherry cheese. Jamie was holding them, but I went home my own snacks. That's pretty much it. What else goes in our bag? Battery pack, full uh, charger. I don't have battery pack. So we went to Walmart and Ulta so I can get some travel size stuff. I got a travel size contact solution because I didn't want to take like the big giant bottle of contact solution with me. So I have a waste of space, but I really don't need that much. So I've got this little bottle here and I'm definitely going to not bring the container because that's a waste of space too. And I also got this little tiny toner. Look how cute it is. It's still the same one, but miniature. Tiny. Yeah, that's one of my trilogies. And then if you saw my other travel vlogs, I have these laundry bags. This one's actually Jamie's because we were using just mine for a while, but now that we're going for longer trips, I went ahead and got him his own. I'm not gonna open this. We can figure this out later. And then I'm also going to bring my little sandals. I got these from Target for 10 bucks and they're pretty spacious and comfy. Guys, look, we just hit midnight. Woo. We need to be awake in three hours. Woo. <laughs> and I still have an empty one size suitcase. I mean, I guess it's not bad that it's empty. Now I have more space for stuff. Are you taking that pillow on the plane, Jamie? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's I don't know, I can put it in my suitcase. I'm so tired now. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. I just finished washing, I just finished washing the dishes.
And Jamie's over there trying to catch up on his shorts. And my suitcase is still kind of empty on that side. I'm just gonna fill it up with my toiletries in the morning, even though it's already morning. Like after I brush my teeth and stuff. And then that should be enough. And then if I buy souvenirs or anything, I'll have extra space in my suitcase to put those souvenirs. So that'll be good. Um, I guess I'm just gonna clean up the apartment a little bit, organize it, so that way when we come back, the apartment will look somewhat put together and not a mess like it is right now. I did a little bit of cleaning. I put up the suitcase nice and neat. I cleaned up that suitcase over there that had some more of my clothes from when I was moving. I added my jewelry, my notebooks so I can journal, socks. Checked Jamie's bag, checked my bag. I'm currently trying to clean up this table a little bit so that when we come home in the future, it'll be somewhat clean, I guess. Yeah, it's looking better already. We're just gonna move to this junk pile. There we go. Hello. Um, I definitely went to sleep. Now we're awake and I'm just gonna end this video here because now I need to start the next video where it's the travel with me to Vietnam. So stay tuned for the video that'll come out next week. And we're gonna get on with the Vietnam vlog now. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, comment down below which country your parents are from. Mine are from Vietnam. This is my first time going and I'm super excited. Alrighty, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!